as long as I can remember, I have always been big. I am that big, obvious, beautiful girl that you're going to single out from a group of friends. a while back about being plus size that was two years ago and i had this to say losing weight should be your own personal stuff like something you want to do for yourself because that you, makes you happy exactly you want to improve your own self-confidence not like you want to do it because this man said this woman said or this brother said it's not good that, that one is external motivation and that one can easily die at any time if you are if you have internal motivation you continue to do that thing you want to do to lose that weight and feel good about yourself there were days when I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. I didn't even want to have a mirror because it only reminded me of what I didn't or did have. Growing up as a plump child was my parents' goal. To my father most especially, being chubby was being healthy. He would always give my mother the bombastic side eye if I didn't get the fish or the egg that he wanted me to have. As I turned 13, still growing up as a normal child, I had no reason whatsoever to be scared because, come on, I was still growing up, right? But when I turned 15, I blew up. I was in a boarding school at the time and I can vividly remember what my hostel mates did when they saw me. I came to school, I went to my corner and they were all looking at me with so much shock. This wasn't the girl that I left last term. I was looking completely different. They were all shouting and making noise, all saying, Oh my God, come and see how Olivia is looking. This girl is now big, this girl is now fat. It was so hilarious. And that was when my interest for workout started. I wanted to be fast, agile, and strong. I wanted to be able to move. When I wake up from my bed, I wanted to be able to do things that I wanted to do. I used to run a lot with my one of my friends in secondary school, and I really I enjoyed it, and I still do. When I left secondary school for university, the idea of what beauty meant began to change. I began to see myself as not beautiful enough, not knowing that the ugliness that I had was lack of self-confidence. I wanted to be thin for all the wrong reasons. I didn't know that beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. But that doesn't take away the fact that there are several people on the internet, most especially, that are glorifying being fat. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am 100% glorifying obesity. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm absolutely insane. I'm supposed to hate my body, like based on like societal standards. I'm not supposed to like what I look like, but like what the hell? Oh, cute. While disregarding the negative impacts that being obese can cost you, I saw all the bad things that could happen to me when it comes to health. That was when I stopped feeling sorry for myself and I actually started working on myself. As I grew up, I began to understand my body type, my weight, my height, body mass in desk, and the reality of the lifestyle that i'm living and the way that is definitely going to negatively impact my life our body type is unique to us there is the triangle the rectangle the hourglass each and every That's one of a us unique way that our body is structured your body mass index is derived from your weight and height each of us has a unique way that we are structured and for that using the body mass index calculator you're going to know if you're underweight normal overweight or obese I began to see the risk of threatening life issues or health conditions that I was exposing myself to. I had to check what my weaknesses were when it comes to food and its consumption. I eat even when I don't need to. One of the fastest ways to gain weight is through emotional eating. It is eating to suppress an emotion, either fear, anger, boredom, any type of emotion. If you're eating to suppress that kind of emotion, it's called emotional eating. It is true that body dysmorphia is a psychological condition, it's a problem and it happens to people of all different shapes and sizes like the thin, the fat, the normal size. It is a psychological condition. The truth of the matter is that I began to tell myself the truth that if I truly loved myself, if I truly loved myself then I would not allow myself to be exposed to these risky health conditions. 
even though there are several ways people can gain weight and even find it hard to lose the weight like for example hormonal imbalance but in my case it wasn't so i knew that it was food i knew that it was food to feel better in my skin i had to constantly remind myself of how beautiful i am i actually had to force myself to believe it i stopped feeling sorry for myself and actually started seeing how determined and resilient i can be if i want to get things i started focusing more on building intrinsic motivation and innate characters instead of focusing only on physical beauty while building on my self-confidence and dressing my body in the most appropriate way for my body type because I know that if I don't tackle it now even if I sleep and wake up and magically have that dream body body dysmorphia might creep in again because it's a psychological condition it is something that has to do with mindset I hope this video was helpful and I hope you also get your dream body but don't forget that if you don't change your mindset to what beauty means and remove yourself from that terrible place of low self-esteem and feeling bad about your body if you don't change it right now even if you get that body of yours that dream body of yours if you don't build yourself mentally it never really goes away getting your dream body <laughs> might not actually change anything mindset is so important people who have lost weight or gotten their goal or their dream body or whatever it is that they want always have these things to say that self-confidence is the key and don't forget you are beautiful yeah you are so beautiful more than you let yourself know feel free to share your body dysmorphia stories on how you overcame it i would really love to see that in the comment section so that we can all learn right and i am oma i don't know if you've heard that before i am oma if you're newbie here i'm so glad to have you please subscribe and if you're an og yeah i'd like to see more of this and i will see you in my next video Bye.